Honorable Boshoff. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Chair. Everybody knows that South African fuel is highly taxed. That is why petrol manufactured in South Africa or even imported through our ports is more expensive than the same fuel in neighboring countries. It is easy to tax fuel as people and businesses rather save on other expenses than substantially cutting on fuel. Contact petrol is harder to find than, let's say, contact cigarettes. The tax is also easy to administer as there are a small number of figurative turnpikes where all fuel has to flow through and where tax can be collected. However, this taxation of fuel is contentious. It is not progressive, meaning the burden rates equally on rich and poor, if not heavier on the poor. It also inhibits economic growth, as it is detrimental to the South African, uh, the competitiveness of South African businesses. The Freedom Fund Plus, among others, has urged the government to revisit the price structure of liquid fuels in South Africa. Not only the taxes, but also the fact that prices are calculated as if all fuel is imported in its final form, which is clearly not the case and exaggerates the influence of foreign exchange volatility. We should keep in mind that the most important reason for rising fuel prices over the past two decades is not changes in the price of crude oil, but depreciation of the land. The land depreciates because more people want to sell land than buy it. When the economy is not regarded as a bread of fixed size which should be redistributed, but as one which can feed everyone if it is allowed to grow, the land will be able to buy more barrels of oil. Unfortunately, currently the economy is managed to be uncompetitive. Today, the Ministers of Energy and Finance announced a partial tax vacation for two months, during which time the whole structure will be retold. This is to be welcomed and hopefully the new structure will be an improvement. There are indeed several potential problems in the whole field industry. The company's refineries, except that of Sasol, are senior citizens. Those which have not burned down or been shut down are about to be shut down. There might be a temptation to charge a new lift to finance the building of a new refinery. During the current transport transition to electric and even hydrogen power transport, this might not be a good long-term investment for public money. The center part of the strategic reserve is indeed a risky venture. It is literally like having a dam to be used during droughts, but one never knows whether one is at the end of a short drought or at the beginning of a very long one. In other words, we may expect that the world war in Eastern Europe will not amount to permanent fuel deficits. But the structure of changes in transport favoring renewable energy sources over fossil fuels is less immediate, but it can be expected to be permanent. Nevertheless, the expression is, uh, urges us never to let the good crisis go wasted. And we should acknowledge that the government needed this advice. I thank you.